Okay. Here we go. I've got to do some juggling with these, so I figured I'd help you out. Uh, first of all, make sure they're degassed. I mean, I assume you know how to do that. But we'll run through it. Put the cap on. You can get them after like it without the degassing cap. But you just screw that in and it'll, it just pushes on like that. These are already degassed, I'm just showing you how to do it, okay? Make sure it's degassed, check, make sure your valve's in, your gauge is empty. Okay, caps are off, these are off. You may have to clamp these to get them off the first time, depending on how tight they put them in. No biggie, just rise, whatever, I mean, but, I mean, get a friend to hold them, I mean. But they're not going to be that tight. Yeah. Not really the best tool, but it's handy. Just to note, if there's enough pressure in there, this would be really tight to unscrew. Okay, that's all you're after. That's my unregulated one. What I'm doing is switching around to do some juggling for move a regulator. Uh, like I say, this is the fella you want to get out. This one's really tight. And this one's soft spring on it. Uh, let me see, where are they? There they are. I mean, I find the easiest way. I mean, you can use anything you want. There are people that put vice grips on the outside and turn this. It's not tight, it's just a plastic plug. Don't let it ping out, there's a spring under there. Okay, nothing fancy, nothing dramatic. Tiny little, I mean anything will do, just push it, nice and gently, you'll see, that there's the full power, Get moisture on there, hmm. anyhow, that's it, take your new one, there, I don't know, you won't be able to see it, but in there is a plastic seal that this sits against. You can change that <coughs> if it leaks. <coughs> you just poke something gently in there and knock it out. Now, that's it. I mean, it's that's it. Take out your old one. I'll actually take the other one apart because this one I have a restricted one. I'll show you the difference. See this one I have a regulator in. Why there's no this O-ring? It's not in there. See? Slightly different setup. I think this is a this is an older one. This is from 2015. And this one's from 2019, so possibly it's just a difference in Hudson's technique. Possibly this is aftermarket. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I don't think it's aftermarket. Uh, in which case, pair of pliers, unscrew that. Same thing.
See? Not even a screw on that one, it's just a plug. Oh, there's the spring. See? Wasn't paying attention, could have lost that. It's quite a bit of a weaker spring. Like I say, I'm using this one in a regulated gun. Alright, so I'd regulate it right down actually, it's down to, I'm running this around 10 joules. Gives me a much higher shot count for indoor shooting, and that's the legal limit in Sweden. Uh, see the difference. Hey, that's a uh, full power. <coughs> All it is, is when the hammer hits it, it hits here, bang knocks it back, breaks the seal here, and there's just a lot more room, a lot more space for the air to get through. So more air escapes. More air and a PCP. Now more air over the same time period, more pressure, faster pellet. See, this guy's restricts it down to, it is just about 10 joules, if I remember, but I've got to put a regulator into it regulate the pressure behind this one anyhow that's all there is to it so go back okay what one was I doing there that one's going with that with that spring Deal with that full power guy oh, take the regulator out of here actually oh, I'm going to swap them over leave the regulator out. And this one's quite tight, so. Don't over tighten it. It is just a plastic thread, a little nylon. There you go. This is a going in the non-regulated cylinder. Just this fella. Let me put a little bit of just a smidge. Silicone grease, nothing else. Put anything else in there, it's going to flame up. This is actually a little excessive, you don't need this much. Okay. Just leave it up. Just so there's a film on there. Oh, that's the regulated one. Don't over tighten it again. There's, there is no need. So just snug it up. Once there's pressure in there, it ain't going anywhere. So that's pretty much it. Let's put a cap on that. Protect it. Put that aside. Put some air in that. Okay, this one. So I should put this back together. I don't need this apart. That was just to show you how to do it. Like I say, this is an old one. It's much lighter. Mm, 
Yeah, just like I say, this doesn't have the O-ring. I have the O-ring, but the O-ring's removed just so the regulator can breathe. Anyhow, that's it.